So you have your little low content book all ready. We've created that in Canva. The next thing to do is to actually get it listed on Amazon. And the first thing we need to do is actually to get the cover Amazon friendly. So for Amazon KDP to get itself published, we need to have a specific size for the cover. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now so it won't get rejected. First things first, let's share a screen. Here we go, a blank Google page. So first thing, let's go for an Amazon. And here we go. So kdp.amazon.com. I'll put that link in the uh, in the description. A paper cover back, paperback cover. So here we have, this is it, Kindle Direct Publishing. Perfect, just what we, what we need. So we're going to have the size. So we created one. It was 8.5 by 11 inches. So let's click on that one. The page count was 100. And we wanted white paper. So that's OK. So we have all those filled in. Let's download our cover template. And that's going to download a zip file. And so when that zip file has unloaded, we just click on it. So here's the screen. So this was the zip file, 8.5 by 11. And, and that's going to give us these two uh, two files. So we have one. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So we have. So this is our template cover. So what it's going to show us is this is the area we won't want any writing in. Uh, we have a spine here as well, um, and we're going to use that now. We're going to open. Let's have a look at it. In that one is a uh, PNG file. That is going to be too large to upload, so we need to convert that. Uh, this, though, is a PDF. So that we're going to open our PDF and see exactly what the sizing is. So I'm just going to open it with Adobe Acrobat. OK, so here we have here we have it in, in the PDF file in Adobe. And I'm going to go on to File and then Properties. And when we go into Properties, we can see that although it's saying 8 by 5 by 11, the actual file size, page size, is 17.48 by 11.25. So when we go back into Canva, that is the page size we want to create, not just 8.5 by 11. Uh, we want that specific 17.48 by 11.25. This is where people get confused. So now we're back in Canva. We were going to go on create a design. We're going to go custom size. We're going to make it inches. So here is our back page. I also I converted the uh, the PNG file into a JPEG file, uh, which made it smaller, so it was able to upload it into Canva. So we're going to use that as a template. We just need to cut and paste our cover from the PDF book. We made last time the ultimate cat lovers notebook so what i've done is i've downloaded the front and back covers from our ultimate cat lovers notebook that we created last in the last video and i'm just going to upload them now into our canva there they go this is the back cover i think that's two bits of the back cover and i would make it a lot larger so we can see exactly what we're doing. Let's just pull that in, drag it so that it is over. Here we go. No spaces, all looking good. We're not over the spine, which is good. So the spine width, as you can see, is very, very small. So here's our front cover. And again, Let's make that bigger so we can actually see what we're doing. Then you just want to line it all up. Pretty much snaps into place. And drag it down. Perfect. There you go. That's perfect. So that's our front cover and our back cover. We're going to make it even bigger because we need to put the, the spine in. So this is the, the ultimate notebook for cat lovers. So that we have that now on our spine, and that is still going to be way too way too large. So if we do a triple click, that'll hold everything. Uh, let's bring that right down to probably five might work. 
Let's have a look. Is that we're just gonna spin that around? That looks about right. And we better bring that down now, make it larger. We can see that that is not going over any of those markings. So let's just drop it down here. That will be good for our spine. Next thing we want to do is just remove the template. So we can see the outskirts of the template. We've got it set to the back. So we just want to position that and bring it forwards. So now it's totally forwards. So we highlight it, press delete. And there we have the cover in exactly the right format for uploading into Amazon KDP. We've got the cover now perfect for Amazon with a 100 page notebook. So the next video, follow us and we shall create it and actually upload it into Amazon so they can review it uh, and okay it. And then you're gonna be a published author on Amazon. We can set the prices. Do click the links below. In the links below, there's access to more training. There's access to the free ebook uh, side hustles that actually work in 2021, totally free. You can grab that. There's also, if you want to find out more and learn how to create a digital lifestyle, learn how to create, make more money online with a digital education, then there is additional videos um, from my mentor and the guy that helps me, Stuart Ross. Uh, and in those videos, he teaches us all about how to create online income. So go check those out.